welcome back in the last video we discussed about the app that we are going to build we went through the features and the design and we also had a look at the giveaway so i told you that every month i'll be giving away one t-shirt for free don't forget to apply to it the leanprogrammer.com slash aam slash giveaway one after completing the project also don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter which is tinyletter.com slash the lean programmer where i am going to keep you updated with the latest news and updates on my various initiatives all right so let's get started so as always let's have a look at what did we learn till now in the previous three months and what are we going to learn in this month in this episode of an app a month so till now we had a look at the react basics we had a look at components, we had a look at one way data, data flow, we had a look at JSX, states and props and so on. In the last month, we also had a look at Flexbox completely. We had a look at what all properties are there in Flexbox and how to use Flexbox. Also, previously, we have also seen a little bit of animation. We have seen the difference between class-based components and functional components. And we also know how to deploy our React application on GH pages, which is GitHub pages. So till now, you must have figured out that every month we are taking up one topic and then we are mastering that topic. For example, in the first one, we took the basics of React and mastered it. In the second one, we did a little bit of revision on the basics. Plus, we had a look at the lifecycle methods and we also had a look at how to make API calls through your React application. So every month we have been learning something new. In the third episode, in the third month, we learned Flexbox. Now, what are we going to learn? This month's agenda is going to be how to implement the concepts of Flexbox that you learned in the previous video, in the previous project and React plus TypeScript. I know you all have been waiting for this from a long time and trust me, this is super, super easy. And don't worry if you do not know TypeScript, I am going to tell you a basic concepts that you're going to use most frequently in React so that you can get started very quickly. So do not fear at all. This is again, trust me, a beginner friendly course and I try to make concepts as easy as possible. So don't worry, this is for you. Flexbox implementation plus React with TypeScript. Awesome. So let's start building our project from scratch. Before going further, let's have a look at the React components. So we are going to build this particular application. Let's have a look at what all components will we have. Very easily, we can figure out that, of course, the top level component is going to be the app. Probably we can have one sort of, let's say, Pokédex application, the outermost application can be Pokédex application and inside Pokédex we can have three things. Probably one of them can be the search box, another one can be Pokélist and inside Pokélist we can have multiple Poké cards, one Poké card for Nidorina, one Poké card for Nidorino one cop and, and so on. And then there is going also going to be the Poké search result which is going to show the result of the selected Pokémon. So this is going to be super, super easy. Let's have a look at the component architecture. Our motive is to actually learn how to implement Flexbox in our designs and also have a look at how TypeScript is used along with React. So this is going to be a very, very simple application. You know, app is, uh, the, the parent component is going to be app. The child component is going to be Pokédex. Pokédex will have three children, search box, Poké list, and the Pokey search result. Pokey list in turn will have n Pokey cards. So this is a very, very simple application. I am going slowly just because I want you guys to master every concept that I teach. So that's why we are spending one project completely on one topic. So you must have understood by now. And also this is giving you very, very awesome and cool projects which you can show on your GitHub profile, which you can show, which will be visible to your GitHub profile. And it's going to look good. So how will it look at the end? The end result is going to be something like this, the Pokédex application, which I already showed you here. So let's get started without any further ado. Let's 
get started on the coding part. So we are going to build this part in five phases. So it's very, very simple to understand. First one, we are going to very, very fast implement the static designs. So by now, I hope you don't have any problem in understanding the basic concepts of React. So you should not have problems because I have taken a lot of time into making you understand the basic concepts and now they should be very, very clear to you. If they aren't, just go back to the previous projects, the first and second project and have a look at them. You will be very comfortable with the basic concept. So we are going to build the static designs very fast. Second, we are going to integrate the schemas and types. I know an ideal way should be to keep the schemas and types along with the first step. But here I want to teach you the basic concepts of TypeScript separately. That's why I have kept it a separate step. Then we are going to make the Poké list functional, which is making the list of Pokemons visible here. Then we are going to making the Poké search box fun uh, functional. That is uh, searching the Pokemons, for example, Bulbasaur and so on. And then the final step is going to be selecting the Pokemon should work as well. For example, if I select Venusaur, it should appear here. So that's going to be very, very simple and very exciting as well. So before ending this video, let's quickly open our folder and there let's open our command prompt as well I, and type this very, very simple uh, command. I will open this. Just give me a moment. Yeah, so I created one simple uh, folder here and I opened it in my terminal or command prompt for Linux user is going to be terminal. Uh, and yes, let's copy and paste this here. npx space create react app space pokedex space template space typescript. Very, very simple. So basically what we are going to do here is we are selecting the create react app TypeScript template, which is going to help us with some basic TypeScript template. Awesome. And now let's press enter. It's going to start installing uh, our boilerplate for react. And by the time it finishes, let's take a break and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Keep learning. Bye bye.